My name is Gator Halpern and I'm the co-founder of Coral Vita. We build farms that grow coral and are actually resilient against climate change here in the Caribbean. Growing up, I did spend as much time as I could in the waves and on the beach. There's a lot of reasons why coral reefs have been dying. Historically, it's been mostly local human impacts, overfishing, pollution, and sedimentation coming off of coastlines. But increasingly, the real problem is global warming. We're going to need active measures to restore these reefs and to sustain them. And that's why we do coral farming. Right now, we're building the first Coral Vita farm, which will be able to grow about 3,000 coral colonies to outplant each year. We also try to work with local fishermen to become part of our dive teams and hire local scientists to manage our farms because in essence, we're restoring these reefs for the people of these countries. This water is actually quite clean seawater. So we're able to pump from this canal through a series of tanks in our farms and control the growing conditions that our corals grow in. We can grow about 3,000 coral colonies each year. This is the skeleton of a small coral colony. Corals are made up of animals called polyps, these individual circles that you see here. At our farms, we're able to break these corals apart into the individual polyps and spread them out over a tile disc. By breaking them apart and fusing them back together, we're able to grow corals up to 50 times as fast as they grow in nature. An essential part of what we do is to work with the local communities. They're the ones that know their reefs the best and they benefit most from having a healthy reef. Climate change is the biggest challenge that our generation faces and it'll be even more challenging for future generations. I can't think of a better way to spend my life than trying to bring about a better balance between society and nature. There is hope that we can make a significant difference. I've watched reefs come back to life through reef restoration, and I know that if we tackle these issues, we can make a greater world for the rest of us.